So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Mythos 2 and CK2 Plus compatible without causing the game to crash. Now, this isn't going to fix any of the issues like duplicate religions, because both mods add the same religion types, extra religions that is. Both mods add particular cultures, both mods add changes to particular provinces. We're not going to fix any of that. We are going to fix what is causing the game to actually crash if you have these two mods enabled. And that's it. In the comments and description is a full step-by-step -step guide if you prefer to follow along with that rather than the video or if that makes it clearer, then go ahead and take a look at that as well. So the first thing you want to do is open up mythos2.mod or .mod.mod depending on what Steam Workshop has fucked with this time. They're both the same file either way so don't worry about it. Just whatever you got the most similar to that. Right click and you want to open with either Notepad or Notepad++. I would highly recommend Notepad++. It's a free download available online. If you open it in Notepad, this is what it looks like. And that can be way more confusing. Bear in mind, that's with word wrap turned on as well. So if I turn that off, you essentially are losing a lot of the information over here. So I would honestly recommend Notepad++ because it makes it look a lot easier to navigate. So what you want to do is when you've opened that up in either of your files, you want to add a line to the end of it, which is a dependency for CK2+. And it looks a little bit like that. So again, this is written up fully in the description. So go ahead and copy and paste it from there just to make sure you get all the space in the right place and all the capitalization and things. And what that's going to do is allow the game to load CK2 Plus first and then load Mythos over the top. If you don't have this, CK2 Plus will be loaded first and just overwrite everything, uh, which will prevent Mythos from writing to those files as well, which can cause a lot of problems. You'll see a lot of the Mythos things just straight up won't load, a lot of the races, cultures, things like that. So adding that, you're allowing Mythos to overwrite what CK2 Plus is already overwritten. That being said, that's the first step. Now what you need to do now is go into the mythos.zip. So because it's a .zip file, what you need to do is open it with winzip, 7zip, pzip, whatever zip folder you've got. You can also open it with Windows Explorer. It has a default zip uh, archiver, but that's a bit more confusing. So again, winzip or 7zip I would recommend. You want to open up this folder. To start off with, we want to go into the common folder. We want to go down to the scripted triggers folder near the bottom. And you want to find a file called 00scriptedtriggers.txt and you want to delete that one, leaving in mythostriggers.txt and ChinesePortraitTriggers.txt. After that, go back up a folder and you want to go into the laws folder and delete everything in here but mythoslaws.txt. You want to leave that one in place because obviously CK2 Plus doesn't have any files called mythoslaws.txt. You want to go back another folder and we want to go to CB types. And you want to go ahead and delete everything again but the Mythos CB types file. Once you finish with that one, back up to the common folder and go down to the religions folder. And then go ahead and delete 00religions.txt. Once you're done with that, you want to go right back out to the main folders here. And you want to go into events. And then in the events folder, you want to go to mm. God, how am I supposed to say this? MNM artifacts events.txt. You want to go ahead and delete that one. And then you want to scroll down right to the bottom now. And there's two files we need from the ZZ section. You want to find ZZ modified events.txt. And you want to find ZZ modified wounded events.txt. And you want to go ahead and delete both of those as well. Now that's going to be everything you need to do this time. That's going to be everything, hopefully, to fix the crashes. And the soft locks caused by the files overwriting each other. Again, this is not going to fix the duplicate religion. So CK2 Plus and Mythos both add a Kemetic religion. They both add a Hellenic religion. They both add extra Norse religions. It's not going to fix those both appearing in game. It's not going to fix one overwriting the features of another. Because right now Mythos is taking priority because of the dependency you added earlier. So you're going to lose a lot of CK2 Plus specific Kemetic religions. CK2 Plus specific uh, Nordic religion features that is. Because Mythos is, again, taking priority. So if you want those to work together, good luck. Because that's going to take a lot of effort. I tried it myself. I was up for a few hours sort of fixing here and there. And unfortunately, it didn't work. I must have missed a bracket or edited something that I didn't need to edit. And it caused a lot of issues. So good luck with that. I recommend a program called WinMerge if you want to take that on for yourself. That compares the differences between two files and allows you to move code between one and another. Take a look at that. Let me know if you do do that, because I'd be really interested in checking that out, seeing if you can preserve both the features from both mods. That being said, don't worry about that if you're just here to get the crash fixes. You've done everything you need to do at this stage. Good luck. If it still crashes, let me know, because this has personally worked absolutely fine for me. But of course, if you start playing as, I don't know, a Revenant up in Scandinavia, if you start playing a Dragon in China, you might come across different events, different breaks than I've got, and I'll try and recreate that and update the video accordingly. Thank you for watching. 
I'll see you next time.